Okay, so how to use your PPC results uh, on Google Ads and actually transfer the data that you learn through your Google Ads campaign and, and implement it into your SEO strategy. So this is actually one of the reasons that my marketing agency was able to grow so quickly um, was because we, uh, I don't know if it was smart or stupid, but we, you know, spent $20,000 a month on Google ads uh, to, to grow our business after the first, uh, what, 14 months or so of operating, we decided to go all in and practice what we preach. I mean, we, we grew our business doing primarily Google ads. So we sucked it up and, uh, you know, for that first month, I was definitely scared spending that much money, but, you know, doing a national campaign, but it ended up being, uh, you know, one of the highest ROI decisions I've ever made for the long term of my company, because now I know how my customers search for me. Now I know the exact words, not just what's shown in the Google Keyword Planner. I know exactly how my clients search for my company. I have, what, $200,000 in data now on exactly what people type in when they're looking for a marketing agency that does exactly what I do. Why is that important? Well, a lot of people with their content marketing and their SEO strategy kind of just wing it and just kind of, you know, create some blogs and, you know, put some keywords on their website and do all this random stuff to try and grow their business. But at the end of the day, data really, really makes life a lot easier and allows you to make faster, more intelligent, more effective decisions. So with our search term data from our Google ads campaign, you know, spending, you know, I don't even know how much over 200 grand we were able to actually do data mining and find where our best clients came from and what they typed in when they were looking for us. And one of the big insights was, since we're quote unquote experts, we don't use the word Google ads, okay? So, or I'm sorry, we don't use the word Google AdWords because Google renamed Google AdWords to, now it's called Google ads. And people in the industry refer to it as Google ads because that's what it is now. It's not Google AdWords anymore. The, the word AdWords doesn't exist anymore, except in the minds of those who are not in the industry. And one of the biggest pain points in online marketing is competitor clicks, okay? When you create a Google ads campaign, you mark my words, 30% of those clicks are gonna be from competition doing research on what it is you're doing with your Google Ads. So for lawyers, as an example, 30% of people who type in the keyword personal injury lawyer are probably gonna be other personal injury lawyers or the marketing directors of personal injury lawyers doing research on what times of day your ads are showing up and what keywords you're bidding on and stuff like that. So the cool thing is we noticed that our lowest, our highest conversion rate keywords where when people weren't typing in Google ads services or Google ads agency, it's actually when they were typing in the keyword, Google AdWords services, agency, company, etc. Why is that vitally important? Because if we didn't notice that one detail, then we wouldn't have been able to create blog posts around that keyword. We would have missed that keyword altogether thinking that we're the smart ones and you know it's called Google Ads now. Why would we wanna release a blog post on Google AdWords, right? When that's not what it's named anymore. But knowing what your market types in to find you as a business, okay, is vital. So we created all this content, including the words AdWords in our blogs. And lo and behold, we pulled in a lot of clients from it because that's what real life human beings who are looking for a marketing company type in when they're not educated on all the changes happening in the industry. So another example is for like a motorcycle uh, uh, or um, what was this for? Oh, I'm sorry, truck accident lawyer. For like a national truck accident lawyer campaign, 
Do you think someone who's involved in a truck accident is more likely to type in the word truck accident lawyer or something like, uh, you know, semi truck crash lawyer? Well, it makes sense that a human being, not, a, not another truck accident lawyer competitor, a human being would probably be more likely to type in the words semi truck accident or semi truck crash lawyer than the words truck accident lawyer. But most truck accident lawyers go after the keyword truck accident lawyer. But that's not the highest converting keyword. The highest converting keyword is are, are gonna be the words that real life human beings type in when they have a problem. Your competitors are gonna type in truck accident lawyer, okay? So I wouldn't know this if we didn't have conversion data for a large truck accident lawyer campaign. And I wouldn't be able to make blog post recommendations from our search term data if that wasn't being tracked. If someone just started with doing you know, blog posts first and no Google ads, you're not gonna have the data to infuse those blog posts with high converting keywords that already have data behind it. So that is how to leverage your PPC search term data into your SEO strategy so that you're going after the right keywords that actually convert and actually turn into clients and customers for you versus just creating blind blog posts and going after blind keywords that you as the expert think your client is typing in which usually isn't what they're typing in. So that is how you want to do it. You wanna spend on PPC, use the data from that, infuse it into your SEO, and take over the world as a result, and then use all those keywords and all your content marketing on Facebook and everywhere else, because it's gonna resonate with your key audience. So I hope that that was helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want more value like this, and, uh, um, and we might give you some surprises and discounts in those emails if you enter your email once you go onto one of our landing pages. So I hope that this is valuable. Stay great. Thank you.